if we target the owners who misuse and abuse these dogs to purposefully make them vicious, then there will not be as much fear and hysteria among the public for these dogs. Also, simple laws such as leash laws would go a long way to ensuring the safety of both the dogs and the public. Prevention of animal cruelty is by far the number one reason why BSL is, should be stopped. If we prevent animal cruelty, we can get to the root of the problem because all pit bulls who show aggression are abused one way or another to make them so. Spaying and neutering will also help solve the problem. Did you know that pit bulls are the most euthanized breed of dog in North America? All too often, if a pit bull comes into an animal shelter, they aren't even put on display for the public to see. Almost as soon as they enter the door, they are put down. Literally millions of dogs die this year these, from being brought to shelters every year. Dog safety education is key. Parents must teach their children from a young age that it is not okay to approach a strange dog. If parents teach their children what proper dog safety is and how to act around dogs they don't know, or even dogs they do, because lots of attacks do involve children, then they will greatly reduce the number of attacks on humans. Dog obedience training is also great, as well as dog behavior correction training. As we know from trainer Caesar Milan, dog training works, and it works well, especially for red zone cases who have showed signs of aggression before, can often be rehabilitated. Also, breeder regulation is key. Pit bulls are so often found on the streets because they are bred by drug dealers. If law enforcement can crack down on these breeding rings, then the problem can be reduced. The truth about pit bulls. Many people believe that pit bulls have locking jaws. This is a myth. Pit bulls have anatomy just like that of any other dog. They cannot lock their jaws like a bear trap. People also believe that dog, these dogs have a startlingly, almost supernatural bite force in pounds per square inch, also known as PSI. Dr. Brady Barr of the National Geographic Channel conducted a test that shows that the pit bull's bite force in PSI only ranks at 235 pounds. This is not the highest of a domesticated dog breed. The highest was that of a Rottweiler, which was 328 pounds per square inch. Another myth about pit bulls is that they are inherently vicious or aggressive. This is not true. According to the Canine Temperament Testing Association, of the pit bulls that took a temperament test, a battery of tests presented to elicit either an aggressive response or a fear response, 85.3% of the pit bulls passed the test compared to only 81.9% of other breeds. In their ability to remain calm in confrontational situations, pit bulls ranked fourth out of 122 breeds. Pit bulls turn on their owners. Pit bulls do not show aggression without a reason. This reason is abuse from their masters. They do not simply show aggression just because. All attacks on humans can be traced to human aggression towards pit bulls.
Did you know that celebrities such as Rachel Ray, Brad Pitt, Jessica Alba, Michael J. Fox, Pink, Bernadette Peters, Helen Keller, and Presidents Woodrow Wilson and Roosevelt all had pit bulls and promoted the breed? Pit bulls make outstanding therapy dogs, visiting the sick in elderly homes and hospitals. They also excel at search and rescue work. They save millions of lives. And also, they save their families, all too. My friend Rob has a pit bull named Titus, and his pit bull saved the life of his son. These courageous, heroic dogs have saved us. Now it's time for us to save them. That's the nanny dog right there. They know. Always watching, always lurking, and always just Dad, being, being the best. Can I see something? Yeah, go ahead. Does this look mean to you? I don't think so, do you? Nope. He's Tad Tad, my boy. Can you stand there and turn a blind eye to BSL? I urge you to go out to your community and help put a stop to this atrocity. You need to get involved and tell your government why it's wrong to do things against innocent dogs who did not deserve to be taken from their families and killed, exterminated, put to death. Please, even if you do not have a dog, I know you know someone who does. Go out and tell people why BSL is wrong. Get active and put a stop to this terrible atrocity once and for all. Breed-specific legislation needs to end, and it needs to end right now.